Hey guys, this is Chris. Welcome to another ZBrush modeling tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you guys how to make a weapon wrap like this with topology tool, Z modeler, and insert mesh curve brush. And make sure you stay until the last one because you can learn how to make one object with different tool sets and you can pick the one that you like to fit in your own workflow. And also, if you think this video helpful, hit the like button and consider subscribe my channel. So let's start with the first one. I'm going to use topology tool. So go to brush and find topology. And now basically you just draw the shape on your stock. Um, you can turn on symmetry mode. Uh, so it's to mirror the other side for you. Instead of you go cross and then draw another side, which is going to be a headache. Now you just draw these lines just like that. Start from the center of your object. And just close it like that. Draw another line right across the center. Usually around the curve, um, you want to add a little bit more edge loop, just so it's gonna it can support the, the shape for you. And to hold Alt and just drag to clean up the shape, and then just click. It's so gonna make this uh, wrap for you and. Um, by default, it comes with this creased edges and you can just go to uncrease all, which is under geometry and crease, and then split mask points to make this a separate tool for you. Go to move tool, move the shape around to the point that you're happy. And if you think this is too thick, um, turn, put your gizmo right in the center and just scale this down a bit. And you can also go to Z modeler and just add the bevel like that. Go back to your mood tool. Just spend some time and um, play around with the shape until you like it. And then you can just hold control and drag another new another one. So you don't have to draw another one. And just just rotate this one slightly and shrink this this way a little bit and you can also turn on z modeler bz oops bzm and insert multiple edge, edge loops and in, uh, turn on the interactive now i'm just adding some extra edges to make the shape more interesting to go back to move tool just play around with the shape um, and duplicate another one adjust the size to make this uh, overlay effect and you can use um, mask and blur the mask to make a more smooth rotation and to bring this even further and I collected some pictures and you can see from this one it's a very uh, messy looking wrap on the gun which you can actually use this topology tool to create because you can just add poly loops wherever you want with the topology and when you click uh, by adjusting the size of your brush to make your mesh real large and thick, but we just want to, for this one, we just want the mesh to be small. And now I just use, um, I just decrease the size of my brush and move the edges up a bit to make the wrap looks like it's hanging. So with this topology tool, you can achieve some really organic and cool results. The downside is, is it's a little bit time consuming. You do have to draw these shapes little by little. And uh, now let's just move on to the second option. The second option would be just using Z Modeler. This time I'm going to use insert multiple edge loops. Turn on multiple polygroup and I will just just draw some edge loops just like that. Uh, maybe maybe like this. And then uh, I'm going to assign these to different um, polygroups. Just go to uh, extrude. Polygroup all, no size polys, uh, click, or to, to make them layer up to each other, you can just uh, adjust the distance by dragging it. And now uh, go to auto group and isolate that and split, uh, split hidden. And then I can just uh, split them up into different subtools. Turn on gizmo and adjust the width and the height. Also, you can use insert multiple edge loops. 
turn on interactive so you can add more resolution but also create more interesting shapes and also I can use motor and just drag around the shape just like what I did previously and here I'm just copy and paste another one just to create a more overlapping effect then I use extrude again to create a different shape and make a more messy looking wrap So now I'm happy with this wrap and I want to add some thickness and just go to Z Modeler again. And instead of no size poly, I'm going to do one side poly and just extrude them inwards. And if you turn off double and find out it's extruded to the wrong side, just hit flip and it's going to get back to normal. So compared with topology tool, this is a slightly faster way. But if you want to have more control with the curve, uh, we need to use Insert Mesh Curve Brush. So let's move on to the third method. So in the third one, let's first create Insert Mesh. As you can see, I have two different subtools, one with three different polygroups and no faces on the top and the bottom. And the other one is a single faced mesh and also with three different polygroups. So now let's just hit Create Insert Multi Mesh. I just want to show you guys the difference between these two different type of mesh and how they function in the curve brush. So now with this single faced insert mesh selected, I'm going to open my stroke menu and my brush menu. Turn on the curve mode, weld points and stretch and just turn on the curve res and the bend angle. So with the single face insert mesh selected, click and drag and hold shift. And then you can see there's an edge loop around it uh, on your model. And then once you're happy with the angle, just release. It's, it's too close to the model. And that's because I didn't set up the depth value. I'm just going to change the value to 10. Click and drag and hold shift and release. Now, as you can see, there's some space between the model and the mesh. I'm just going to use a gas mode and then bring it up and make it wider. This is what I want to show you guys. If I hit dynamic subdivide, as you can see, this mesh is actually not uh, welded even with the weld points turned on. That's because in ZBrush, uh, with single face mesh, uh, even you have weld points turned on, um, it's still not going to connect. But if you really want to use single face mesh for certain things, um, one way you can fix it is to go to weld points, which is under modify topology and just hit weld points and then it's all connected. And now the problem is uh, it still looks time consuming because I need to um, draw these one by one. And now I'm just going to show you guys a faster way. So first I'm going to insert multiple edges and then crease all these edge loops. just like that and then I'm just going to use gas mode and just rotate these creased edges with an angle just unclick border and poly group and hit frame mesh this is going to assign a curve on each creased edge loop so with the double face insert mesh turned on I can just hit one of the curves and uh, adjust the brush size a bit and with one single click you can have all this mesh uh, instantly uh, just for the demonstration purpose i'm gonna just delay the rest of them let's just focus on these ones if you want to make something more complicated uh, let's just first uh, use zmodeler to bridge these holes together in real world these wraps are actually connected so what you can do is delete some poly loops and use blur masking function and just rotate uh, these wraps a little bit and use bridge to connect And bring, and bring the other ones back in a little bit.
and then you can just subdivide them and to add more details. So this is the wrap I showed you guys in the beginning of this video uh, and I just recorded my working process. As you can see, I'm using some closing wrinkles alpha. Uh, you can find them online or you can just use standard sculpting brush. And also I turn on the auto masking on the left side. This allow me to just sculpt on each one of them without affecting the others. So this is the end of this video. I hope you guys learned something and enjoyed it. If you like my video, please consider subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.